So in this video, we're going to take a look at a common type of vulnerability known as an activity export exposure. And the general idea behind this type of vulnerability is that if we have activities that are accessible by external applications, which is quite common in Android, we might want to be able to launch another activity of an app through our app. Um, for instance, you might want to launch the, uh, the phone interface through your application. In order to do that, the activity for that phone interface would have to be accessible to your application. Um, but there are certain situations where you may be able to utilize that to bypass authentication or some sort of check in order to get unauthorized access to those activities. And that's what we're gonna take a look at specifically here. So to demonstrate this, I'm first gonna show you that um, in general, if I go to my insecure bank app, I'm not authenticated, I'm not logged in at all. So I'll go ahead and end that, I'm not logged in. Um, and we're gonna utilize Drozer to demonstrate how we can exploit this sort of thing. So. Through Drozer, I've connected into the console. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to run a command. Um, let me zoom this in a little bit here. I'm gonna run a command called app.activity.info. And then we go hyphen A and we give it the name of our app, which is v 2 And what this will do is it will show you all of the activities that exist and what permissions are required to access them. So you can see that all of these activities are exported and we don't need any permissions to actually access them. So let's try to access one of them. And there are a few here that are authenticated ones, such as view statement, for instance. We wouldn't be able to view a statement unless we were an authenticated user. So let's go ahead and try to launch that. The way we do that is we say run app.activity.start. And then we say hyphen component, and we give it the name of the app, which is com.android.insecurebankv2. And then we're going to give it the um, the actual like component that we're trying to launch, the actual activity. So you can just copy one of these and say paste it here. Uh, oh, and I spelled uh, component wrong. It should be component like this. Now when we do this, you see that on my phone, it launched the application, it says statement does not exist, but it brings me back to the post login page. So from here, I can actually access everything that an authenticated user could, even though I'm not authenticated. And this is very problematic. For instance, I can access like the change password section where I can input like a username potentially and be able to, uh, to change the password for someone, right? So this is something that we don't want attackers to be able to do, of course. And you'll actually see that this is actually something that we could do with a lot of these activities. So for instance, if I do um, instead uh, change password, for instance, you see it takes me to the change password screen. And this again is an authenticated page. So um, we shouldn't be able to actually access that. Um, and then in general, I think post login will give us um, the actual main page, right? If I go to post login, you see I get to the main page. So this is, of course, a problem because I can access these activities as an unauthenticated user. And generally, the idea is that we should have some form of permission on these activities so that we can't access them as an unauthenticated user. So this is one very common type of vulnerability that I wanted to bring forward and show you how to how to actually exploit. And that is just um, if you're on this activity info, you'll get all the different activities and you should just try launching all of them and see where they take you. If they take you somewhere where an authenticated user can access while you're unauthenticated, then you found a vulnerability. Um, in general, you could see these fairly common, um, so you'll be able to find a lot of different vectors through this sort of attack. 